Yo, gentle people, Bunny here. I know it's been a while since I actually did an episode of Light Up, but welcome back to the channel. And as per usual, welcome to the persons who, you know, who have been subscribing over the past, what, month or so? <laughs> it's crazy to think that we're at the end of December already. Um, I hope everyone's been enjoying the content on the channel. As per usual, I know everybody's been watching the plays. Um, I'm overdue to upload our next play on the channel, so look out for the first part of the next play before the end of the year or so. I'll, it'll probably be Bashman Granny more than likely. I know like everybody's probably seen Bashman Granny to death at this point, but you know, it's always good to have it available here on the channel. So we'll probably start with that before the end of the year completely rolls out. But anyway, on this episode of Blow It Out, and for those of you that don't know, Blight House is basically a segment here on this channel where I basically cover articles or topics just for the sake of discussion. So with today's video, what we'll be discussing are two things. Basically, we've I found an interesting article on this well, two interesting articles on the star. Well, fairly interesting. Well, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Um regarding of course the legend himself, Butch Banton, and his first concert. Um, which will apparently be taking place in 2019 um, and according to the star which they report it will take place on March 16, 2019 his Long Walk to Freedom concert No, we know the hype has been building where Butch is concerned and his return and his release from prison um, but to me having his first concert being on the what, three months from now, January or March um, I don't think it's a bad deal. I mean, it does give him time to probably, probably in my honest opinion, probably not even enough time, um, not enough time to, you know, make up for the time he lost, you know, he needs to spend time with his family, you know, his daughter, of course, that's definitely a must. Um, but honestly, probably if I was Bujad, I'd probably um, wait even longer before jumping back in, but you know, despite all the time that's been missed, I mean, life goes on and, you know, business, you know, money still needs to be made at the end of the day. So it is what it is. But the interesting thing to note is that um, in terms of the organizers for this event, which are Gargamel Music, Boom Energy Drink, um, apparently in collaboration with Solid Agency and Rockers Island Entertainment, um, but the interesting part is that Boom is Boom Energy Drink is the one sponsoring this event, which is pretty interesting, I'd say. But considering it's a it's a local product, then I mean, I guess it goes hand in hand at the end of the day. Um, but based on this article, I'll definitely link them in the description below so you can check them out for yourself. Um, the CEO of the single. Um, group of the single group. This is what if I pronounce his name right, William Mafood. <laughs> yeah, so basically, the organizers are promising that this event for Butcher Bantam should be the biggest show in Jamaica and probably the most memorable reggae um, moment for reggae in 2019, which um, probably isn't too far fetched, um, even if it's just being coined our phrase as like a part of this promotional stunt um i do expect it to be like a really massive concert to say the least especially since you know obviously it's butch abandon so it's a, where reggae is concerned you can't he's one of the artists from jamaica that i definitely say once you say reggae you know bob marley of course but butch abandon is instrumental and he, he helped to really develop the culture where reggae is concerned so there's definitely that mm, but it's going to be interesting to see if it really does start to be the biggest or you know the most memorable moment for reggae in 2019 i mean it's only three months into the year so still nine more months <laughs> so there's there's definitely that um it it's also interesting that Buju mentioned to his you know his former or previous band um, that you know you should know all my music so of course persons in that band are rehearsing get prepared for that concert so um, it's gonna be interesting especially since um, again based on this article that his last performance was in 2011 so it's gonna be interesting to see but I don't know let me know what you think um, 
although I feel that he should spend just a bit more time um, with his family, of course, since it's been, what, yet 10 years since he went to prison. I mean, life still goes on and, you know, food still need, needs to be placed on the table at the end of the day. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should you have waited longer or is, you think this three month um, rest period is okay for him? Because I know he's obviously going to start doing that rehearsals and all that before. So it's even less than three months in the grand scheme of things. So there's that. Um, yeah, interesting. Who knows? I may end up going to the, one of those concerts from the first one because it seems like it's going to be a tour. So there's that. Um, the next thing is Popcorn himself. Um, it seems to be a case that there will be what they call unruly fest <laughs> in St. Thomas, and it's shaping up to be a signature event for St. Thomas, which I think is a good thing because honestly, I've been to St. Thomas like what once, twice, and it doesn't really seem like there's much there. I mean, no offense, obviously, but having a signature event that could draw patrons to the parish could definitely, definitely even for that space of time, improve business, you know? Probably give persons, you know, probably incentivize, make people want to come to St. Thomas, you know, I mean, this is probably not a long stretch, <laughs> honestly. But I mean, having a signature event like, you know, Reggae Some Festes in Mobile, and, you know, having another signature event there in St. Thomas in the East, then why not? Um, of course, uh, I got the impression from the article that this will be the first event of its kind. So, well, for St. Thomas. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does seem like it's the first it's going to be held, so there's that. And apparently, it'll be a special international guest um, by Popcorn, but apparently, that person hasn't been announced yet. Of course, even though that's the keyest in terms of the lineup, I think it's a pretty decent lineup. You have Tanya Stevens, Coco T, Bones Killer, Dex Adapts, Agent Sasko, Dre Allen, Javinci, Jafras, Bushman, Ibamar, and Iwin. So, definitely a pretty decent lineup. And it's pointed out in the article that most of the resources for the event were sourced from inside the parish, in, inside the parish, before even um, going outside externally to actually source resources, source resources. But yeah, you get the idea. Um, and I think that's even the fact that the fact that they even did that, I think it highlights the point that I'm making that St. Thomas needs something to really um, boost its economy and incentivize um, investors coming there. I mean, it's just probably one event, but if it's a signature event, who knows? It could probably go a long way in helping St. Thomas to, you know, develop into something more. But anyway, let me know what you thought about that really and truly um, in terms of St. Thomas potentially, you know, growing to become a, a more, I guess, a more business-centric um, parish. <laughs> I mean, as I said, it's a long shot to say because just based on this one event, but having a signature event for St. Thomas is a starting point, I'd say. Um, of course, what do you think about Bujubant and that first concert, March 16th? Um, it's going to be interesting. And honestly, BLA, we here at BLA, we have some plans for 2019, and I'm hoping, God's willing, that we can come through for it and just provide great content for you guys here on YouTube. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Of course, thanks again to all the persons who subscribed over the last month or so. I know we haven't been really uploading all um, that often anymore, but and, um, just stay tuned. We have some stuff planned. So rate, comment, subscribe, leave a comment. So let me know what you thought about this episode of Blight Out. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.